My, I'm Mary Ellen Alford. I'm the interim nurse manager on Oncology 8 South at Methodist Hospital. Um, I've worked here for Methodist for about almost six years now, and I love every minute of it. Our patients are, are wonderful. Um, hearts Need Art have been so beneficial for them. It's just been, um, it makes their day when, when they're able to either do the artwork or if the music people that are doing music come and see them, it makes them happy. My name is Kelly Nash. I'm the interim nurse manager for the adult blood cancer and bone marrow transplant units at Methodist Hospital. I've been at Methodist for almost eight years now and I've been on the transplant units for about four. I was here before Hearts Need Art started and it's amazing to see how far the program has come and the impact it's had on patients throughout the years. Absolutely. We had a lot of patients, I think, that don't like to get out of their room, they don't like to walk the halls, they don't like to interact, and once they start attending art class, and some you have to really encourage. Yes. We had one girl I took down there unhappily in a wheelchair and I parked her. However, now it's the highlight of her week. <laughs> right. And then I have others that that's what they wait for. They can't wait till it's art day so they can go create something. And then we have those that don't want the music in their rooms, but yet they open the doors and listen from a distance when, when the music's playing on the special weekends that they're there. So I had a patient once ask me if she could come to art class even after she was discharged. Oh. Would, they, would they notice if she came? <laughs> like, they will notice, but they won't mind. It's oh. open to everybody. I even had a staff member show up one day to my office to tell me that she was really upset. We had lost a patient. She was night shift and she came in during day shift. They told me how upset she was. She was so sad. She was crying and she didn't know what to do. So we talked through it and then I told her, you need to go to art class. So I sent my employee on her day off to go to art class. Mm. She made a collage. I think it was very therapeutic for her too to make the art obviously, but to sit and see these other patients that were doing okay and they were surviving and they were fighting and I think it benefited everybody. It does. And sometimes before the, um before they get into the art classes and stuff, they're very um, withdrawn. The shades are down and the mm -hmm. lights are off. And when they finally meet other people that have their same diseases and they're able to interact during the art um, sessions or the music sessions, it really, it really does them a world of good, makes them feel much better about their whole situation. There's a few times when I've been gifted patients art from class and it's so meaningful because it it's so unique and it usually reflects or it sort of interprets that patient's experience. So to have their art, my mm -hmm. office has a couple pieces from patients and it's really meaningful. Yes. Very meaningful. I know that um, for myself, especially when the symphony comes and they play their music and, or the singers come on the weekends when I'm working, um, it's awesome. It just really livens up the place and it makes everybody uplifted. It's just a, a wonderful experience. I'm very happy that Heart Needs Art is here. It's great. I love the whole Hearts Need Art crew. Because depending on the activity, it depends on who's coming through. But everybody's friendly and it's kind of like they're on the staff and they take care of the staff, they take care of the doctors, they take care of the patients. They literally take care of everybody on this entire eighth floor. They do. And I think this place would be a lot sadder without them. Yes, I agree. And they even have the, uh, they bring in the yoga. They have yoga for patients. So some of the patients will come out and do chair yoga or regular yoga, whatever they're capable of. And I mean, that's just relaxing for them. It's something different. Helps, helps time go by for them. It's just great. Kelly, you mentioned a couple stories, like specific instances of times where you feel like it transformed people. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you guys have any other I, thoughts of stories of specific instances like that with either staff or patients or yourself? Oh, well. Now there's like so many. I know. <laughs> there's a lot. <laughs> like I said, I remember that one girl in particular. She's a young adult, early 20s was very mad at the world, was mad at everybody, didn't want to leave her room, she wasn't doing well, she was just so angry and unhappy. And I took her down there in a wheelchair, she was very unhappy. I parked her at the table, I said I'll be back in an hour, which sounds cruel and unusual, but like she needed it. And then when I went to pick her back up, 
she was smiling and I think just to be able to like express herself on paper and to interact and see other young adults that were going through something similar and know it's okay to be mad at the world but you're not the only one and so she really just like connected now she's back a couple years later and she is really enjoying art class yep that was the highlight of her week and the pictures that are left on the wall that that they do there's like an art gallery that that's hung and those pictures not just the patients enjoy them but the staff enjoys them I mean and the visitors enjoy them it's just it's just uh, I mean they're really talented people I don't know you know you may not think you're much of an artist but really when when you work with these these folks they do such a good job and the patients just really enjoy it I think sometimes too for patients that are reluctant to get out of the room or they're hesitant or they don't have a lot of visitors when I go to check on them and see how they're doing, I'll use it as kind of like a ruse to get them out of their room. I'm like, let's go walk the hall, let's go see the art. And so then we'll kind of talk about like, well, that looks like a this or that looks like a that. What do you think it means? So not only was it therapeutic and beneficial for the person that made it, but I think it prompts that conversation and gets others out and talking mm -hmm. and interested. And it's amazing the things people share based on the art that they see. Mm -hmm very much. So what would you guys say to someone who has lots of nonprofits to choose from, well, who can, can support lots of different causes, why do you think that people should support Hearts Need Art? Hearts Need Art comes to people that are at some of the lowest points in their lives. They're desperate, they're scared, and this brings a little bit of joy in a very difficult situation for people. You're getting emotional? Yeah, yeah, it's so cute. cute. <laughs> it's so sweet. I love Hearts Need Art because I think it's a very unique nonprofit. There's obviously a lot of organizations that are for healthcare and ill individuals, but Hearts Need Art is different because it appeals to a whole nother set of needs. It's the psychological, it's the emotional, it's not necessarily the medical aspect, and I think as hospitals and healthcare institutions, we often overlook that vulnerability. Yeah. And I think Hearts Need Art is a really good program because it focuses on that and it. I can't take you serious. <laughs> I think Hearts Need Art is a really good program <laughs> because it. It's something that a lot of people can share, no matter your background, no matter your education, no matter your illness, it's a time to just all get together. And anybody can do it. Anybody can exactly. do it. Exactly. It's common ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So some occasionally people ask us, you know, why, why are you doing work with adults? Why don't you work with children? Because um, a lot of people think of arts and they think of, oh, uh -huh. you should do that with kids. And it's like, well, can they do do that? <laughs> Already, child life and all mm -hmm. these other things. So what would you say to someone who maybe is confused about why we might be doing this with adults? Hmm. Well. You might just think that the arts are for children. It's a relaxing getaway for an adult who has to think about bills at home and children that they can't see every day. and and is my husband going to stick stick with me throughout this so this is a, a very um, simple way to enjoy some time that you don't have to think you can just enjoy what you're doing and learn learn something new I think too especially like the adult oncology population kind of gets overlooked mm -hmm. in aspects like this and so I think just because you're an adult it doesn't mean you don't enjoy doing the Zentangled or the painting or playing the ukulele you can enjoy it just as much as a child it can be just as therapeutic it can be just as beneficial and before Hearts Need Art came we didn't have anything like this so I think it really even for the nurses because yes. sometimes the nurses will make the crafts and you know we had these little beads that we'd hang yes. on our badges yes. and stuff it was just something quick and fun that the nurses could take a break for just a few minutes and make something neat you know for themselves that was just a relaxing thing we don't have anything else like it in the adult hospital uh -uh. that I'm aware of I don't think any other institution around here has it in the adult I don't think so. hospital as far as I'm aware <laughs>